Hello, my para weasels. You know, get it? Weasels, Padawan, Star Wars, you know. In this little video, I just want to give you a quick introduction into my BB-8 rig I put up on Gunbroad and you can download and might have downloaded already. The first thing I want to say is the model and the textures are not by me. So I have nothing to do with that. I don't get any credit for modeling and texturing this thingy. Well, I kind of get the credit for texturing it since I'm only provided with the textures. Well, well uh, what I want to say is if you want BB-8 just as a model, and stuff. The original model is a part of a star pack from a video co-pilot, which you can download completely free from here. I'm gonna provide the link down in the description. So just in any case, you wanna download, of course, the whole star pack since there's more in it than only BB-8 and you don't need BB-8 in uh, a rigged version, then feel free, go there. This is actually meant for Element 3D, but Andrew and his team were also so kind to provide us with the JPEG files. So we can use the models and the textures in every other 3D application, just like Cinema 4D. No credit for me for doing the textures and the model itself. All I did is rig it. Now let's hop in and let's see what we did. So let's start with the BB-8 itself. Let's get over here. So this is uh, BB-8. This is the physical version. You also get a Octane version where all the materials are ready uh, in Octane and ready to render. And the rig itself has a tab right here, which is called BB-8. And on here you have two groups. So the first one is the head. And this is the big cam right here. So that's what I call it. I don't really know what it is. It's, it's a sensor or I think it's his eye. Um, you can move the big cam up and down and right here you have the big cam LED so you can turn the LED on and off. Um, if you use something like Signal from Grayscale Gorilla you probably can just make it blink really easy and stuff like that. Then he also has a small camera right here and this is uh, the area right here and it's quite nice and easy to um, animate this. So. And then we go down to the body and there's not really a lot to do in here. So first of all, there's the hatch so you can open the hatch. And if you build a robot arm or anything, you can just put it in there and then it comes out, you know, like in the movie with this uh, lighter and showing you a thumbs up. The other things are just the other things are just body rotation. So once you have animated him to a certain place and you want to open the hatch, you might want to rotate. Um, the the body so it's actually in the right in the right spot to open it so this is just some just for adjustment purposes let's get this back to zero okay so led is on everything is uh, working fine so this is on the bb8 null itself and then first i provided you with two controllers the for one is a head position controller so this goes like that if you take the red one there we go um so you can place his head wherever you want and the other one is a head orientation uh, so he can look at a certain spot which might help if you like i don't know he's gonna want to go at a certain spot right up here then um, while he's driving up here uh he's gonna take a look over here might put might put a wiggle on it so he's not focusing like a robot i mean even though he is one you know yes so let's hop into animating him from point a to point b i went with a mixture of using dynamics and AI line to spline uh, while using within the dynamics just under the force tab the follow position once you open the scene you also see all of this stuff you can of course delete this this is just for um demo purposes so um if we hit play now he's already gonna go and go up the hill following my spline so if you want to switch out the floor all you have to do is like provide him with a new floor let's go into object mode here and let's make this kind of a, a ramp so this is like hopefully in this way yeah right now of course he's gonna drive right through since this has no dynamics on it but i put the dynamics tag on the null here so everything you put in here 
is going to be considered as a floor and he's going to interact with it. Bam. There you go. Jumping over the ramp right here. Good boy. Okay. Let's delete this again. Let's see how we are going to create a path that's um, working good for even terrain stuff like this. So let's delete the old one. And I'm going to go into top view. Let's change the view so we actually can see what we're going to do. Then let's create a path like he's going from here to here to there, going back there, over there. He's just just does not know where he wants to go. The usually what I use is not, of course, not linear. Um, I usually go with cubic or B spline, depending on how tight I want him to follow it. Let's go for the cubic one here and let's just adjust this one here a little bit. Okay. And also this one here is a bit harsh. Those is just uh, the main spline, but what we're gonna do and what we need to do is select all the points, right click and then let's hit the card wheel here. Do a subdivision. So we're actually getting more points along our spline. You will see in a second why. So we got more might be enough for this one so let's select them all again and no first let's go hop over here what we got to do is take the spline and put it above the surface where we want it where we want him to actually drive along then we go back into the top view back into point mode right click hit project and we want to project in the view we are in so we're projecting from top down and we just hit apply and you don't really see anything happening here but it happened here and now our spline is going along the surface um, we did not put bb8 out of the way which is why probably yeah one spline got projected right onto him and what i usually do is i take the whole spline in object mode and i just drop it slightly below the surface so we are actually relying on the collision between him and the surface and not too much on the follow follow position we put into the dynamics so last thing we need to do is go to the align the spline tag on bb8 itself take the spline drop it in he's probably gonna move and hit play and there we go and i already see a problem so what we forgot to do is in the spline mode put the intermediate points to uniform because otherwise adaptive is going to put more points more intermediate points in the curves and less on the straight lines and the align to spline tag is actually not using just the points but also the intermediate points to interpolate the percentage it's using so once you put it on uniform, the distance between every intermediate point is always the same. Therefore, BB-8 is gonna go in a much more even speed and not so much accelerating and uh, decelerating along the spline. So let's hit play again. And now he's obviously, yeah, he has no clue where he's going. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much it. So um, the whole document is open, so feel free, you can hop in here, check out the dynamics, change the dynamics, like less follow position, which will end up in the smoother curves. I also do not use the original body as a collision body. It's all within a uh, dummy container, so um, you can crank up or down the segments. It's This is not visible at any time. This is just for calculation purposes. So since the body count on the BB-8 body is just way higher than just using a simple sphere. Um, and despite from that, feel free to check out the Expressor rig. It's super straightforward. It's just from going from A to B most of the time with the range mapper and yeah. I hope this uh, helped you out understanding the project if you have downloaded it and it might help you out if you actually wanted to download it and make sure this is doing what you wanted to do with it. It might encourage you to download it not for free but you know spend the buck or two just f for my efforts. And if you do not already have subscribed to my channel, do this. There are always gonna come new tips and tricks and tutorials for Cinema 4D and After Effects. 
And once again, if you want to download the pack from uh, Video Copilot, there's also a R2 unit in it, a TIE Fighter and Sabres and stuff like that. You will see it down here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for downloading. And I hope I see you soon again. Bye bye.